sometimes you might ask yourself, why is it that only the middle one moves while the rest don't? If wind moves, then how is it that one is moving fast and the other ones are not, when they are just like the same area? It doesn't make sense. So it has to do more about magnetism rather than trying to draw air all the time. Mm -hmm. The air is somewhat of an indication of movement of gravitational influences between atoms, between densities of air. As plants are spewing out energies, they're spewing out protons, they're spewing out atomic energies, atomic constructs. It's not some kind of invisible force, it's invisible for us, but it's going to work with the same construct of the universe, which is atomic energy. And then all you do is you magnetize yourself and you push protons. Magnetism. Well, it's good to talk about it because then you zoomed into the concept. Yeah. And into the... It's also something that I'm very much aware of. Oh, are you okay? You just jumped into the middle there. Yeah. So, yeah, the whole idea of the movement of trees, of plants, is that they're participating within the environment by generating energy, and energy is also moving protons, gradients of concentrations, with the environment, internal and external, to create some kind of movement. Because movement is life, and energy is life. Mm -hmm. uh, this energy creates that currency that allows biochemical movements to occur. Mm -hmm. And so all you're doing is you're really working with chemistry, you're working, working with physics, you're working with all these stuff, um, and learning to understand what they are um, even from a nutritional point of view, I mean, I'm learning nutrition, I've been self-mastering it for four years, but at the same time, you go into understanding chemistry, physics, biology, and psychology, and all this stuff, that lend you a better understanding of how the system works. And then there's quantum, quantum mechanics, where you observe something, and you activate it, and you influence its outcome. Thank <laughs> you.